memory of you was fading I'm hearing so much and I'm trying to keep up with you late Welcome back to the channel So this is going to be another adjusting, quick adjusting video We're going to adjust the man behind the camera um, And I know I've had a lot of new subscribers So welcome, we are glad to have you I am Dr. Leanna, owner of Cairo Fit um, And actually the video where I was, my sister, I let my sister adjust me, you guys were blowing up the comment section. Some of it was pretty funny, I'm not gonna lie, but then the other half of it, I was like, um, no, no chill. Like a lot of butt comments, like you guys have never seen a butt before. Yeah, thanks for checking out this video. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and let's get to it. Okay, and actually, um, so he is like, Double my size almost. How much do you weigh right now? Two, 50. Two, 250 pounds. So he is a lot more difficult to adjust than someone like my sister, for instance. Like my sister, all I really have to do is a little bit of wrist extension. Look at the flick of that wrist. Look at the flick of that wrist. And him, he has a lot more muscle. So there's a difference between adjusting someone that has a lot of muscle and someone that's a little bit chubby because like fat you can like press into but muscle you kind of bounce off of it so you have to use a lot of your own body to kind of drop into it um, and another thing is I used to when I was first starting to adjust I'd use a lot of my shoulders because I just didn't understand how to use my body my body mechanics and it will wreck your shoulders if you continue to like adjust with your shoulders, so you gotta be very careful with that. Okay, let actually just stand, just stand normal for us. We're gonna evaluate. Just stand forward. Okay. Okay, and then from the back, we're gonna check it out too. He's constantly having shoulder issues, and so his right shoulder is definitely um, internally rotated, rolled forward, so a lot of times I work through his thoracic spine up into his neck, which is easier to adjust. So let's have you lay, lay on your back. We're going to do those same tests. I know it's your left shoulder, but it's your right shoulder that's like this. So he was just telling me, he's like, it's my left shoulder that hurts. Is it focused? I don't know why it's not focusing. Also, someone in the comment section, I was very upset about this. The one again about my sister and I adjusting each other. Yeah, no, I'm going to say this. Because he was threatening, he's like, I'm going to turn you into the board of chiropractic if I knew what, what state you were practicing. Blah, blah, all caps, internet warrior. And he was saying how it was a like random person adjusting me and he could have paralyzed me. I'm like, what is my sister? I've taught her how to adjust. And it's thoracic adjustment. You can't paralyze someone doing that. If you could, I'm, I'll, I'll stop practicing chiropractic. Okay, end rant. Anyways, he was telling me... <laughs> he, he was telling me he has his left shoulder hurts. And I get that. I understand that. That's what a lot of people will tell me is this is what hurts. But a lot of times it's kind of like an overcompensation. So he's right-handed. His right shoulder is like really internally rotated. I mean, it's like this. So it's pretty much like pulling everything on the left, and that's why you feel it. I have the same issue, that's what a lot of people deal with. So, on your back, we're gonna do some muscle tests. Put this arm straight up, straight up, and then resist me, don't let, it, don't let me push it down. That's better than yesterday. So I adjusted him yesterday too, and his strength on both of these arms was, was trash. Put that one straight up too. And this is his problem side. Yep, hold strong, hold strong. And that's pretty bad. Um, and then put it to your side internally and up to your side here. So this one is for the lat, so don't let me pull it out. Strong, strong, strong. Okay, okay hold strong here, don't let me pull out. Okay, and then don't let me push in. This one. Yep. Okay. So this, sometimes this is what AK, AK doctors will do, applied kinesiology doctors, which I don't practice that. But um, it's kind of cool to watch AK doctors do their thing. It's really cool. But I go more off of um, motion with adjusting. So sometimes I'll use this stuff, sometimes not. Same thing here. Hold strong, hold strong. Hold strong. And then hold strong. Yep, and even on this side, you can really, really see the difference. Yeah, that's about all the tests will do. So from that, I will... 
I'm just gonna basically adjust through his his T-spine and up into his neck. So through there a little bit. So for him, I really have to like get my body over him. And right through his mid thoracic area, or not mid, but upper, is like the hardest to adjust because there's so much muscle through there. And you can't really hear the, I can kind of hear the cavitation, but on camera, you can't, you can more just feel it. It gets really, really muffled out. Okay, and then we're gonna try the CT adjustment on him, the C6, C7, T1. Take a breath in and out. Pull it out. There we go. Good. Okay, fold it to your back. Those went pretty well, huh? <laughs> okay, so now we're just gonna get his neck, uh, his shoulders, and that's about it. Also, people keep wanting me to do the ring dinger. I... Mm -hmm. I'll show you it. I do not do the ring dinger because um, it's extremely aggressive. Yeah, I just don't do it. I don't practice that, so I wouldn't feel comfortable doing that to someone. It's super aggressive. It like adjusts from like their neck all the way to their little back. So like I said, I go pretty much off of motion. So when I'm, I did a video about how I adjust like the neck or anything. And when I'm like going through his, his C-spine here, I'm trying to find what's moving and what's not. And he's pretty locked up again in his lower C-spine, C like C5 through C7. And more so on this left side here. And a little bit higher on the right actually. So we'll start on this right side. Much better than yesterday though. That was a baby one compared to yesterday. And then sometimes I'll go through the elbows and the wrists. There's a little one there. A little one there too. All right, and then this last adjustment is for the AC joint. Okay, how do you feel? Good? Mm -hmm. What? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, so that was a quick adjusting video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, smash the thumbs up button. Subscribe. Check out chirofitgym.com. Also, comment down below um, what you guys want to see, like adjusting type of videos, um, whatever you want to see. Someone suggested something like a, a grocery haul video, but I just think those are kind of boring. And um, my food, the foods that I get from the grocery store is really boring. Actually, come, come this way. Like, look at... Look at our fridge right now. Don't look at the monster because people are gonna tell me that I might die if I drink this. But you could die if you stand outside too, so. Um, meat, meat, pumpkin, I always cook with pumpkin. Oh, avocados, ricotta, cook with that. Greek yogurt, eggs, egg whites. These are <laughs> his content, don't look at those. And uh, cheese, cheese, ham. And then protein powders. We got, this is the best stuff to cook with because it has a little casein blend. And then these are the best for smoothies. This is by far my favorite, the blueberry toaster pastry by Ghost. Great stuff. And then in the cabinet, literally all I have 
is oatmeal, and then the rest, this, not mine. So, um, there you have it. Good? You're a ghost. I'm a ghost? Okay, I'll just take it from here. So whatever you guys want to see, comment down below with reason. Nothing like, want to see butts. I'm not going to do that. Also, if you comment dirty, nasty stuff, I will block you because I just do not have time for that. It's disgusting and yeah. So thank you guys for checking out the video. Give it a thumbs up and I will see you next time.